everyone, this is Shadow the Rat, and in this video I thought I would do something a little bit different and talk about my experience with training a rabbit. So back when I was in high school we had these elective classes and you got to choose what you wanted to do, and I always chose this class on animal husbandry. There was different levels of the class and it was just really fun. And this class was taught in a kind of dual setting where one classroom would have like chairs and tables and all the stuff you need to do written work, and then the other classroom had a bunch of small animals in there. And I'm talking things like we had mice, guinea pigs, ferrets, rabbits, gerbils, hamsters, fish, turtles, hedgehogs, dogs, and sometimes cats. So we had all kinds of animals. And it was really cool experience being able to take care of them and play with them, socialize with them, just figure out how each animal was kind of different. But in this story, I'm going to be talking about one rabbit in particular. His name was Thumper. And this rabbit was brought to the school by someone who I think was fostering a lot of cats and dogs. So they didn't think they had enough time for the rabbit. They decided to bring him in and let him live in the animal classroom for a while. And this rabbit was super confident. I mean, nothing scared him no matter what. He would run up to you when you called him. He loved being pet. He was just amazingly social. So I decided one year that I wanted to take him home for spring break. Now my spring break was only about four days, including the weekend, but I wanted to see if I could train him to do any sort of behavior during this short period of time. And it turns out, yeah, he was a pretty good learner. Now the one problem I found was that he wasn't very motivated by anything, not even food. Like I tried to use a carrot, and I know carrots aren't the best for rabbits, but I wanted to see how it would work as a motivator. And he would follow it upwards, you can see I'm luring him into standing, but it just wasn't that powerful of a motivation for him. And then I also tried to teach him how to spin. I used an apple for this. You can probably see it in the next clip. And I was able to get him to follow it in a circle, but he just wasn't that motivated by the apple either. So later on, I decided that what I really wanted to train him to do was play basketball. And he had this one cool behavior, which was throwing a ball around. And he would pretty much pick up a ball if I threw it at him and toss it in the air. It seems to be a pretty common rabbit behavior from what I've seen. So what I did was I placed a bowl right next to him and I placed the ball in front of him and I tried to shape him into putting it into the bowl. Now for some reason I didn't try to clicker train him. I'm not sure why because at the time I was clicker training Shadow, Latte, and Blackberry. But I decided to just try and shape it by giving rewards whenever he did it right and I would feed in the bowl. So you can see in these clips that he learned pretty well to put it right into the bowl and he got really good at this. Like he could do it from different distances and I was working on having him actually hop over. I didn't get to that point but you can see that he got to the point where I could put it pretty far on one side and he would turn around and bring it back to the hoop. Now the one issue like I said was motivating him. This was very difficult. What I ended up doing was I would ration out his pellets and he would have favorite pellets in this little mix that I had and I just used those little favorite pieces and I would give those as a reward in the bowl. And yeah, he seemed to like that pretty much. So in general, I thought it was a pretty cool experience getting to train with him. I mean, I found it a lot harder than training the rats. Like I said, he was super confident, so it had nothing to do with him being in a new area or anything like that. And pretty much all to do with the fact that I just didn't find something that motivated him strongly enough. I just think it's pretty cool to see the difference between how these animals all respond. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!